Now, if you are going to learn security and get certified in security so that you want to be able to put certifications on your resume, let's talk about which certifications you should get. Now, I also want to explain that this path that I'm about to uh, go over with you is the recommended path that, uh, that I have for you. I did not create this uh, website called medium.com did. I'll actually link the article there, so I want to you know, tip my hat to them. They created this little image and, uh, and I'm just using it as an example because I, I really love this path. I think it's a great path. But it, there is an order you should know that you should go in to do this that I recommend, okay? Uh, secondly, I really hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. I'm trying really hard to grow this channel and uh, continue to make free content. Also, uh, if you visit examlabpractice.com slash courses right now, uh, the links that are on that site, almost every one of my courses, most of them are $9.99 right now. Even if you're watching this in the future, this uh, website is where I always discount my courses. examlabpractice.com slash courses. Click the links there and that'll redirect you to Udemy, which means you'll get a discount because the discount code will already be there. Okay. Anyway, let's talk about the order. So if you are going to get a security certification, the first thing you should know is that you really need to start with the foundation of Azure, and that is the AZ-900 uh, certification. So step one is AZ-900. This is the foundation of Azure, making sure you have a foundation before jumping into security. Okay, so this is not directly about security, this right here, but it is going to give you a foundation of Azure. Secondly, then you've got SC-900. Now, SC-900 is the foundation for security when it comes to Azure and Microsoft 365. And remember, those two things are linked. Azure and Microsoft 365 are connected together. Okay, and so you would want to go after SC900 next. The third uh, recommended path, the third recommended exam would be the AZ500. Now this is geared towards Azure security. It's not so much Microsoft 365, but you need, you really want to start with AZ500 as you start moving into these uh, other ones. It is not absolutely 100% necessary, but it's recommended. Start with AZ300 and then jump in, or I'm sorry, AZ500 and then jump into these others, okay? Now this is where it gets a little confusing because most people want to go SC100, SC200, SC300, SC400, and you absolutely should not do it in that order, okay? Um, the order that you do this in might shock you, okay? The recommended order would be to start with SC300 first. So SC300, after you have gone through and done these others, you might want to go after this uh, SC300. This is a... Uh, sort of like general Microsoft 365 with some Azure security in it, and it's going to help build your foundation and, and uh, strengthen your knowledge on uh, understanding the Microsoft Defender services and all of that in Microsoft 365 uh, and just understanding it for the Windows environment, all that. And this is so this is very important. This would be your starting point after you've gone through these first three. And then the next would be SC400, believe it or not. So number five here, the, the fifth exam that you'd probably want to go after would be SC400. Okay, That's going to get into sensitivity labels, data loss prevention. It's going to get deep into you know, dealing with your company's data. All right. After you've done that, you would go after SC200. And this is going to get really deep into Microsoft Defender way deeper into Microsoft Defender and you're going to become you're going to learn a lot about Microsoft Sentinel which gets into the Azure side of things the the SIM SIEM environment SOAR environment all of that so this is a pretty sought after certification but you definitely want to have a good strong foundation as you move into that and then lastly it would be the uh, SC100 and that gets into the design aspects which means you really got to have a, a good grasp on all these others before you get into design. Currently the SC100 is the only course I have not released. I have released a course on every one of these except SC100. I will eventually uh, release one for that but that would be the top tier one expert level that you want to go. Now again with my courses I build them in a way that you they kind of stand on their own legs you're not, you don't have to have the assumption of taking any of these. You could actually take SC200 without taking any of these if you, if you take my courses. But if you want to make your life easier in terms of 
you know, building your way and gradually learning your way up to that, this would be the recommended path. All right. Well, hopefully that now helps you have a better understanding. Again, I hope you will give me a like and subscribe and uh, definitely be sure to check out examlabpractice.com slash courses to, to get the coupon discounts. And I uh, hope this has been informative to you and I will talk to you in the next video.